Hello everybody, my name is Sumandua. I'm a registered migration agent based in Brisbane, Australia. This video is specifically designed for international students who wish to gain permanent residency in Australia through study pathway. This video explains the step-by-step -step process that you can follow to get permanent residency in Australia. If you stay with me till the end of the video, you can also download my free guide that I've created for new international students. My free guide does have some resources and information that you may find handy with your journey in Australia. Now the first step that you need to take is choosing the right course. Choosing the right course is directly related to choosing the right occupation. So Department of Home Affairs does have their own occupation demand list. So the occupation demand lists are distributed in three separate categories, which is MLTSSL, SDSOL and ROL. So you'll have to see if your occupation is in one of those lists. The second step that you need to do is work out your skills assessment process. So there are some occupations that require work experience after your qualification and then there are also some occupations that only require your degree or your diploma that you're doing. So you'll need to find out if the occupation that you have chosen requires any work experience or not. You may also want to find out if it's easy to get a job in the field that you're studying. The third step that you will have to take is choosing the right state. So you may want to find out if the state that you have chosen does support their international students or not. There are some states who really support their international students and as long as you have studied there for two years, they may give you the nomination. But then there are some states who would ask for a work experience or a job offer letter as well. So these are the few things that you will need to figure out before you choose a state. Step number four is working on your English. So working on your English is something that you would start doing on the day one of your journey in Australia. So it may not be very easy to get eight each in IELTS or equivalent as soon as you finish your studies. And also keep in mind that your English test is valid for three years for PR purposes. So this is something you may start working on and maybe have some warm up tests done by the time you finish your studies. Step number five that you will take is get some work experience in your nominated occupation. This is also because to get the skills assessment, some of the occupations do require some work experience. And it could also be because the state you're studying may ask you for a work experience or a job of a letter in your nominated occupation. So when you're studying a course, it might be a good idea to start looking for some internship or some part-time work in your nominated occupation so that you can land in a full-time job once you're on your graduate visa. Step number six that you will take is apply for your graduate visa, so which is subclass 485. So this visa is granted for a duration of anything between 18 months to four years, depending on what you have studied. So once you have finished your course, you will be applying for a 485 visa. Step number seven that you have to do is organize your skills assessment. So there are some occupations who do, which do require you to have some work experience and with some occupations you can just get your full skills assessment with the qualification that you have completed. For example, with accounting, as long as you have done your degree in Australia and you also have seven each in IELTS or equivalent, you can get your full skills assessment. With IT occupations, you need your qualification in Australia plus a professional year program or one year work experience to be able to get your skills assessment. With social workers, you need your qualification in Australia and seven each in IELTS academic to be able to get your skills assessment. With nursing, you will need your qualification and seven each in IELTS or equivalent to be able to get your positive skills assessment. For engineering graduates, they only need their Australian qualification to be able to get a positive skills assessment. So these are some of the examples and each occupation has their own skills assessment process and you may have to contact the skills assessing body to find out what is the skills assessment process for your occupation. The step number eight is looking for visa options. So by this time, you would have already got your skills assessment done while on your 485 visa. Now you will have to look for the visa options. So in most cases, you will be eligible for general skilled migration, which is subclass 189, 190 and 491. But if you're somebody maybe who had two years work experience from overseas, you might start looking at the employer sponsored visas as well. 
So if you're going to apply for the general skilled migration program, then you will also have to look at what the state requirements are at that time and see if you meet the state requirements. If you do meet the state requirements or the requirements of the 189 visa, then you're ready to lodge your expression of interest in the skill select system. So once you've lodged your expression of interest, now it's time to wait for the invite. And once you have got the invite, it's time to lodge your permanent residency application. So the way that you will be planning all this is that either you have already lodged your permanent residency before your 485 visa expires, or you have already been granted the permanent residency before your 485 visa expires. If you do need any help with any step of your migration journey in Australia, please feel free to get in touch with us. Thanks for watching my video. I help international students gain permanent residency in Australia in the shortest duration possible. If you wish to stay informed about the Australian migration, you may wish to subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, I would encourage you to comment below and I will try to reply to as many as possible.